Two for Fetty. Swings it across. Johnson scores. Kent Johnson with a rocket and a power play goal makes it one nothing Canada. Canada moves the puck around so well on this power play. It ends with Kent Johnson getting his first of the tournament off an excellent feed from Perfetti. Just moments before, look at this beauty from McTavish. Perfetti tries to go high into the blocker side. He actually hits Almer up in the mask. They retrieve the puck again, and that lane opens up, and there's the ability of escapability on the blue line. Terrific work by Ridley Gregg in the corner to win that puck, to keep it alive. He pushes it up the boards to Dylan Gunther, who finds Cormier, and then Cormier with an escape act along the blue line. He skates away from Bohm and then beats Sommer to the glove side, shows off his agility along the loaded here. And now Stankoven shoots, scores! Logan Stankoven in his world junior debut, and it's 3 nothing Canada. A second round pick this past draft by the Dallas Stars. Jim Nill, the general manager, says Stankoven has an NHL shot. The guys say he plays like a bowling ball. He's got such energy. He's always moving. With a goal mouth, a centering pass from Neighbors. Bedard, a second chance scores. Connor Bedard, power play goal. Four, nothing. And assist the first game, a goal this game. The power play works again. Bedard ends up in the middle of the ice. And Right neighbors play play this perfectly. Right to neighbors that with Cooley Bedard shovels it towards the goal rebound score. And that's Bedard again to make it five nothing. That's a pretty nifty play here. Some anticipation by Bedard to steal the puck in the in the neutral zone, and a nice play by Will Cooley to. Return the pass. The pass is intercepted by Bedard, and he'll protect the puck. Cooley goes right back to him, and again, there's not much to this part of the play, except it's everything. Bedard doesn't skate by the net. If he goes, if he goes past the net, and Cooley back in with Casper. Casper's showing a little bit of feistiness in the two games in this tournament. Here he goes after you know it. You're a couple of games through this tournament. Now Bedard in oh. shoot scores. Oh, Connor Bedard hat trick for Canada. They said Bedard had to get a little better without the puck. Well, this is one way to solve without the puck is to have it, and once he gets it, he starts to dangle with it. Here he comes off the wing and picks it up, and this is all him. One move, and then he's got all kinds of traffic in front of the net. That shot has been talked about. He watches Austin, Matthew, Austin Matthews on video. He's always working on it. It's the release. It's the change of direction. And as soon as he gets it here, good luck. Well, the defender, Lindner, Sauer, and Brochu out to play. Got knocked off stride. Rauer looks back across. Score! Lucas Netsasani fires at home as Brochu gets caught out of his goal. And Austria has surpassed its goal total from last year's tournament. Well, after a, a nice stop, a decision that doesn't work out so well for Brochu as he tries to play this loose puck, doesn't get enough of it, and now he's 25 feet out of the net. Can't. Casper lost the puck, Cole Perfetti shoots, scores! And Cole Perfetti, 27 seconds into the period, scores. And the Canadians will pass on the flyby and just go back to their bench. Assist in the first period for Pafredi after Kaspar has a great chance on goal. Nice stop by Brochu on the rebound as well. A turnover in the middle of the ice. Oh, thank you very much, says Cole Perfetti. As the Austrians run into, run into each other, Kaspar's trying to go around his defender. And he hits Urbanic in the foot, and the puck just drops for Cole Perfetti. Shoots, tip score! And a 
Is that Bedard again? Yes, it, it is. is. That's four for Connor Bedard. Ties the Canadian single game record. And we've got a ways to go yet. Bedard's about five foot nine. He's pretty stocky at 180 pounds. He likes to play on the inside of the game. And I'll tell you, if you're going to score goals at the next level, as he's already working his way here, is you have to get yourself into the middle of the ice. Too many players that are highly skilled get lost on the outside of the ice. The skill is there, but you've got to get into there to score. That's a really nice play. Gunther works it back across. Shot score! Mason McTavish. And that's nine. Dealey winding in, shoots, summer save, rebound, score, McTavish again. Starting to sound like the freeway at rush hour in here. Off now, and he's got right with him. In comes Perfetti. Holds, drops, and moving in his pork with a shot, scores. Reinbacher, Devalman, works it in, shoots, throws you a pad, save, rebound, score. Matthias Baum on the rebound. And Austria's 